What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today I've got a very quick video, but a very important one I think. So, just finished playing some Operation Metro Conquest, normal uh, A, B and C Conquest, I think that is actually the only kind of Conquest there is on Metro, but um, you will, most of you will know the frustrations that come uh, with Operation Metro Conquest. And I'm not talking about 64 players, I'm not talking about noob tubes and bam, 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 grenades, bam, explosives everywhere. I'm just talking about the actual map design here, right? So, I've always said it, and I know other people said it, so this isn't groundbreaking, and I'm not the first to discover this, but I decided to test it myself. It's I've always noticed, or at least, like, thought to myself, that to get from A spawn to A flag, and A spawn to B flag, is at least, at least five seconds quicker. Like, it has to be a good, at least five seconds faster than to get from... C spawn to C flag and C, C spawn to B flag, sorry. So I went and tested it and I'm gonna cut over now to the in, to the testing footage of trying to get from A spawn to A, or to A flag. So check it out. Okay, so there you go. That's A spawn to A flag, or the, the A burn at least. That's what it, that's what I'm going by. As soon as you see the burn pop up in the middle of your screen, that's where I'm counting to stop it. So it takes what was it there? It was thirteen point three six seven seconds. Okay, so let's go now from C spawn to C flag. Let's see how long that takes. And that is shocking. That is 24.267 seconds. That is insane. That's insanity. That's over. That's almost twice as long to get from C to uh, C spawn to C flag than it is to, to get from A to A. Like, and again, I know obviously there's kind of variables and stuff like that. Like, you can diff take different routes, you can get different spawns, but I just basically took the least, like, uh, the most common one that I personally get, I always get for the C to C, I always get this um, down running past the train on the left tunnel. That's like the most common spawn for me as far as I can remember. And uh, the A one again, I went for the most common spawn that I can remember. So the most co like most common spawn that you will get, um, even though it's all random and there could be random obstacles in your way and most people like tap space to jump and it helps you sprint faster. Just as like a baseline test, it's almost twice as long to get from C to C as it is from A to A. That is insane, okay? So first off, you're at a massive disadvantage if you're spawning in on C flag, if you're spawning in on the C, C side spawn. Um, so let's go now and see how long it takes to get from A flag, or sorry, A spawn to B flag. Alright, so apologies about the video, uh, for some reason it cut out in editing and now I can't get it back, so sorry about that, but you could hear the footsteps, so you know I'm not making this up, and here's the screenshot that I managed to keep from the end of it, I don't know what happened there, but anyway, 34.4 seconds, so this test is assuming once again that everything goes your way and you're just taking the most like natural route that you would just take, um, assuming that you wanted to skip your gimme, skip your A flag or your C flag and you wanted to go straight from your spawn to B to capture it before the other team does because that's usually what people try to do if they're playing with a smart brain. 34 and a half seconds, okay? So let's go on now and check out how fast or slow you get from C spawn to B burn.
And there you have it. That's conclusive proof. It's only four seconds in the difference. It's a uh, 38.6 compared to 34.4, but it's still 4.2 seconds in the difference. When you're talking about a reload, if you had a 4.2 second reload, doesn't sound like a lot, but that's... If some guy has four seconds on you, he's got four seconds to put down a med pack and take cover. That's That can make the difference in who gets there first and who gets set up first. Particularly if there's two guys and there's two guys from the enemy team and you're the only one that decided to skip your C flag and go straight for B. If two guys coming in from A decided to skip theirs and all the rest of their teammates, that's two of them have, that have had four seconds to put down med packs and look over, uh, or sorry, and like set up and look to, in your direction. That's a huge disadvantage. That is unacceptable, in my opinion, in map design to give one team such a big advantage. I'm sure there's other, st I'm sure there's other kind of situations like this on maps that I haven't really noticed before. But every single time I play on Operation Metro, it's something that I notice, and I know I'm not alone. And again, I'm not trying to make like breaking news. Metro's imbalanced. I, I know it's well known, but I needed to research it for myself. Probably there's probably videos like this online already on YouTube. Didn't even bother looking. I just needed to know for myself as soon as possible. So I did the runs. Here are the results. It is literally faster. It is genuinely 100% faster for a for the people spawn on A side than it is for people on C. And that is unfair. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I find it unacceptable as you've as I've already bitched and moaned about already. But it's very late in the game as well. Actually, now that I think about it, <laughs> to be moaning about this. But still, um, and like this isn't. This is purely talking about getting there. It doesn't, like, the, I could even go into the whole, like, another thing that annoys me is the fact that there's only three routes. For, whoa, that's another thought I just thought of, actually. From A spawn, from the A side, there's three doors to come in. There's what Rival X Factor calls Metro, the, uh, your right door if you're on spawning on A. There's middle door, and then there's the left door, the little sliding door thing. And then if you're, if you're coming up from C, you've literally got the stairs of death the second stairs of death, yeah, there's, okay, so there is three, but they're completely different. There's the stairs of death, the stairs of death, and the stairs of death. Like, you've, every, they've all got, like, an advantage. Like, the people that are already on B on the inside. They've got the height advantage. They're looking down on you. They can just shit down on you for days, like. Yeah, if you're an amazing player, like your X-Factors and level caps and the people of that, or that caliber of skill. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but. <laughs> Excuse me, but for regular pub player, people like me, that yeah, we may like finish top of the leaderboard most of the time, but we don't have the skills to single handedly like get that back to a certain like, well, some of us might, but a lot of us don't have that skill to be able to push out of such a big disadvantage from the start. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, just thought I'd make this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.